Down here we on, we on or we're on? We're down here, uh, just getting the boat motor fixed, just blew the motor on the way to uh, Monaco for the, the, the Formula 1 Grand Prix, but uh, blew the turbo in the boat, so it's getting it fixed. Uh, the video today is about metabolic damage. Do you have metabolic damage? Someone said, do you know, do, how do I tell about metabolic damage? I did a whole chapter in my book about metabolic damage. The book, Evil Carve the Fuck Up, talk about metabolic damage. A lot of people say, metabolic damage doesn't exist. And it's like, <laughs> what the fuck you think? And normally teenagers say that, I've got no fucking idea. Uh, I've been involved with weight loss since I was eight years old. My mum would do these calorie restriction diets and all these sorts of crazy shit. So I've been exposed to calorie restriction since I was eight years old. My mum would fucking smash dishes. She'd get the whole dishes and just smash them. She'd throw dishes against the fucking wall and go, what are, just like flipping out. And then five minutes later, she's like, oh, what the fuck's going on here? Didn't work it out, you know, 20 years later. All, all that was happening is mum was car restricting. And when I visited my mum back in 2009, I looked in the bookshelf because my mum keeps shit. My mum keeps shit for fucking ever. She's a hoarder. It's a bit like I used to be. I used to be a hoarder as well, no longer. But my mum has all these books. And so I'd read these books. And I was like, oh, Adele Davis or whatever, all these, you know, car restriction books out there, raw energy, etc. Don't eat too much food, just a little bit, you know. Make sure it's nutritive dense, but not too much. So my mum's been a cow restriction I and mean, now my mum's clinically obese she used to be rail thin rail thin just jogging and starving and rail thin but eventually uh, metabolic damage kicks in or otherwise you could call it metabolic efficiency or adaptive adaptive thermogenesis google up adaptive thermogenesis talks about how the thyroid the leptin insulin how all these things contribute to weight gain or weight loss fat gain fat loss muscle density etc Calorie's not a fucking calorie. A calorie is not a fucking calorie. People say, calories in, calories out. That's not how it fucking works. Because you can eat, fucking eat 3,000 calories a day from bananas and fucking lettuce, or rice and fucking broccoli, or you can eat 3,000 calories from bacon, eggs, and McDonald's. And you're going to fucking tell me, the idiots out there that say calories are fucking calorie, are you going to fucking tell me, you're going to fucking look into my eyes and say calories are fucking calorie? Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Calories not a fucking calorie. Alright, because if you eat different calories, different food groups, it's going to have a different insulin response, leptin response, thyroid response, metabolic response, adrenal response. If you're doing stimulants, you're thrashing your adrenals, man. If you're doing stimulants consistently, and then what happens to your, your, your adrenal levels, adrenal levels, etc.? It all affects your pituitary. What if you're on sex hormones like steroids or progesterone or estrogen, a contraceptive pill? That affects your, your pituitary, uh, hypogonadal pituitary access, your HPG access, all these things like this, access. You know? So people say calories are fucking calorie. <laughs> no idea. So how do you heal yourself from metabolic damage? You basically do what we're doing. And you, 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 you're gonna gain weight. If you've been starving yourself, if you if you have adaptive thermogenesis where you're gaining weight back on, that's not fucking our fault. That's fucking your fault or the fucking fad diet from other fuckers out there who sold you that fucking sixteen hundred calorie day program or twelve hundred calorie day program or calorie restriction fucking whatever. That's their fucking fault and your fault for being suckers to buy that fucking shit. And now you're paying it back. Now you're fucking healing. So don't come and fucking knocking on our doors and say, Do you know what it's really? Make you gain weight. The fucking champions understand what's going on. The champions are out there going, yeah, I put on a bit of, bit of kilos, there's no worries. In 2003, it happened to me, man. I remember 2002, I got sort of got into raw foods and I calorie restricted, not by, on purpose, but just by accident, just trying to be pure and shit, eating fuck all. 2003, I was racing my bike in Europe, just fucking gained heaps of weight. And what the fuck's going on here? Because <laughs> I started eating more. I wasn't working a job, I was just training and eating and sleeping. So I started gaining weight. But all that was happening is I was just playing catch up from the year before. I was in adaptive thermogenesis, so I was gaining some weight. And my mum. But the thing is, my mum doesn't never break the cycle. She just keeps starving, keeps binging, keeps starving, keeps binging, and she's eating the shit. All right, so if you're gaining weight and you're eating healthy, then your body needs to do that. But eventually, your, med your med metabolism, or your pituitary, your thyroid, your leptin, all this insulin stuff, they start to ba balance out. The humans are meant to be greyhounds. We're meant to be lean greyhounds. Not anorexic greyhounds, but lean, fit greyhounds with energy and stamina. So if you're a bit of a... a a sleek greyhound, a bit of a hefty greyhound, that's fine, but you'll slim down over time. And I see this all the fucking time. But the people who lose trust in the system or whatever, or their body or whatever, they just they go back to yo-yoing. They're, they're stuck in that fucking merry ground for the rest of their fucking life. And the people who commit and say, yep, this is cool, this is how it is, they get the results. It's just like kickboxing. Anyone can be a fucking hardcore fucking hitter with four years of training if they keep training every day, day in, day out, just consistent training, man. All right? Anyone can be fucking lean for life 
if they just be consistent with their diet, a little bit of training, good sleep. You have to go crazy with the training, you have to be consistent, but consistent with your diet. As soon as you fucking restrict your carb calories, you're, gonna, you're tweaking your body out, man. You're tweaking your thigh. Just Google it up, look it up. Adapted thermogenesis, leptin, insulin. Insulin is an anabolic hormone. Insulin is one of the most anabolic hormones around. That's why bodybuilders use it, who aren't diabetic, but they're fucking injecting insulin because it fucking makes them anabolic. So if you're eating lots of protein and fat, you're gonna increase your insulin. I'll do another video soon about insulin. Carbohydrates raise it a little bit, but you add some protein and fat, fasting insulin levels high. That's why you go to Australia, everyone's fucking huge here. Most people are fucking huge over 25, and it's not muscle, it's just water retention, just edema. Because insulin levels are, is just so high, the fast insulin is so high. You go to Asia in the villages, everyone's fucking because their insulin levels are lower. The leptins, the leptins are more sensitive, etc. They don't have leptin resistance like I do in Australia. So there you go. The, what's his metabolic damage? It's fucking real, man. You see it all the fucking time. Just ask any fitness model or whatever, anyone who's calorie restricts or whatever. They're like, fuck, I just gain, I just fucking look at food and I just gain weight afterwards. Because they're training their fucking body. They're training to gain the weight. They're training to gain the water retention. They're training to gain the fat retention, the bloat, etc. So once you just understand that, accept that, and go, okay, what do I do? Do the right thing. It's always the right time. Do the fucking right thing. You're good to go. And you be lean a lot, mean freely. Greyhounds. Humans meant to be fucking greyhounds. Not anorexic, not fat, but just a lean, fit-looking greyhound. There you go.